Hey guys, let's dispense some flares in the hip. So the hip can dispense both signal flares and countermeasures. There are signal flare dispenser tapes on the left side only, right at the back, right about here. And there are countermeasure dispenser tapes on both sides, or ribbons, I think they are, on both sides here. And here. So let's hop into the cockpit and have a look because neither of these systems are overly complicated to use. So let's go uh, see how they work. Okay, so here we are in the cockpit and we're going to take a look at the signal flare dispensers first. So the first thing we need to do is power the system on. And we haven't been using the circuit breaker for this really at all yet. We'll get it centered right about here. If you remember from the cold start video, the circuit breaker panel is divided into two sections. The section on the right is your things like your lights and your radios and your fuel and your engine start and autopilot and so on. And then everything on the left is your weapons and related combat systems. So bombs and rockets and uh, right here at the bottom right hand corner is flares. So we're just going to power on the signal flare dispenser here. And then the actual panel is over here behind the pilot commander. So this panel here has eight different colored push buttons. One for each flare, and it's got two different rows. All we do is flip this switch to on, and then push the button of the color of flare you want. So because I dispensed a red and a green at the beginning, that's these two right here that you saw already, I can't dispense these again. They're empty. But I can push any one of these. If you listen closely, you should hear a sound. Now we're going to try to get into an external camera and watch one of these flares come down. I'm going to push a couple of buttons and we'll watch green and orange come down together. Green, orange. And there they go. Do that again, this time with orange and white on the top. There they go. And lastly, we just have this one white dispenser here. And there it goes. So that is signal flare dispensing in the hip. You've got eight of them, two different tapes. You just have to remember to power them on. Now, if you can't remember, or you don't want to come and find this exact switch, you can always power on all of your weapon systems by holding right control, right shift, and then pressing one, two, three. And that'll power on all of your weapons as well. So next, we have the countermeasures dispenser. And that's done by this guy on that little radio panel he has down to his right by the door. So we'll switch to his seat with two, and then look down here. And now we get to talk about this little multicolored panel with a screen on it. This is CMD power, or countermeasure dispenser power. So just have to make sure that's on. Now by default, what the screen is going to show us is the quantity of flares remaining on the left side. And we can see that by the light here above L is lit up, and the right light above R is not. There's a switch underneath that says side. If we toggle that over to right, then the right light is lit up. And we put it in the middle, and both lights are lit up. And that number, if you haven't figured it out already, is the number of remaining flares, either on the left side, the right side, or total. And that is determined by this switch over here, which switches between quantity remaining mode and program mode. So if we switch from quantity remaining mode over to program mode, now we get a different number, 110. So these three digits each mean something different. This is a little bit like ripple settings for bombing, or probably any other countermeasure programming in any other plane, really. The first number here refers to the number of programs to run. The second number refers to the number of flares to launch per program. And then the third number refers to the delay in seconds between each program run. So right now we're going to do one program of one flare with no delay. So if I push the start button, we should hear one sound. If 
I look from outside. There's that one flare that launched. And we're launching one out of both sides because we have the selector in the middle. Each time I push the button, I get one flare from each side. Now we can change that. We've got a button over here that says INT next to it, or interval. That allows us to change the rightmost number, the seconds between each program. Over here is sequence, which allows us to change the first number, which is the number of programs to run. So we're going to run two programs. And then salvo is the number of flares per program. And we'll run two. And this time we're just going to launch them from the left side. So if I hit this... You hear two sounds because it launched two, two sets of two flares. We do that from outside the helicopter and we look at the left side of the helicopter. So that'll be the right side of the screen. There goes two bundles of two flares for four flares total. Now we'll set it back to middle and we'll go... Eight programs of two flares and we're gonna set a small delay of two seconds between them this time we run the program and eight programs two flares at a time two flares from each side with a separation of two seconds in between. So that's largely it for dispensing flares. Now if you hit start and you don't actually want to continue with that, you can hit stop and it will stop the flares from dispensing and from finishing the program. If you want to reset it, there's obviously the reset button which brings it back to launching a single flare. And that's about it. The last thing to talk about is if we switch over to the pilot and commander's seat, he is able to dispense flares as well. I'm not able to configure them from here, but if I look down here at the right bottom right corner of my panel, there's a button labeled UV26 Start, and that's the program start button that the pilot navigator has. So if I press that, I get a single flare. Each time I click it, I'm getting one flare. Now if I go and change that program, just change it to run 8. Go back over here. Now I push the button, I should get 8 flares. And I'm actually out of flares on the left side, so what you were hearing is the flares from the right side. But that's it for countermeasures in the hip and signal flares as well. If I missed something, if I got something wrong, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.